Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. Today I'm here in the Appalachian Mountains in the woodlands. It's early May. and It's such an exciting time to see nature unfold during the spring. We've already seen wild ginger coming up, Dutchman's breeches, star chickweed, red trillium, and so many others, as well as many of the amphibians. I've watched as the season progressed wood frogs, then spring peepers, and then American toads breeding. And I can't wait to see what we're gonna find next. Today's episode is about a flower called the wood anemone, another one of our spring ephemeral wildflowers. It's also known as thimbleweed, windflower, and smell fox. And I'll explain how it got those names in this episode as well. So here you'll learn how to recognize it, how to identify it, and learn some of its biology. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Windflower is such a beautiful, delicate wildflower. You can recognize the flower of wood and enemy from its five white petals, which are actually sepals from the technical botanical standpoint. It has a whorl of three leaves coming off the central stem, and each of the leaves is divided into three parts, but sometimes those three parts are actually divided into five. And that brings about the scientific name of the wood anemone. It's anemone quinquefolia. Anemone refers to the Greek gods of the winds, and quinquefolia means five-leaved, which I think is referring to the three, actually sometimes five lobes of this plant. It's common in the mountains and in moist woodlands, and it's actually an indicator species for very old growth forests. The leaflets are relatively jagged on the edges and is an indicator of this species identity. The central part of a flower is sort of shaped like, well, a thimble. And that's why it's also called thimbleweed. The leaves, when broken apart, are said to have a musty smell, reminiscent of fox urine. So that's why it's also called smell fox. Wood anemones are in the buttercup family. The name windflower may also refer to the fact it's on a very delicate single stem and when the wind blows, it will tremble in the wind. And so it got the name windflower. Another origin of the name is it said that the wind will actually blow the flowers open. In fact, these flowers will actually stay closed on rainy or cloudy days in order to protect their pollen and their nectar and make sure that they have the best chance at reproduction. Wood anemones will often grow in patches, attesting to the fact that they have an underground rhizome just below the leaf litter layer that gives rise to the flowering parts of the plant every spring. It's considered one of the first flowering plants in the spring, but remember, you have to see it on a sunny day because the flowers will only open on sunny days. Like many plants in the buttercup family, all parts of this plant are considered to be toxic. I hope that this video will help you learn more about this plant if you've already seen it and identified it, or help guide you to seeing it on your next walk outdoors. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. And if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe and give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers and learning where and when different organisms or wildflowers are starting to appear across the country. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.